Greetings, this is Gintian. We're starting off today at my house at Spawn on the Kingdom Chronicles server. As always, I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. Today we are starting off at my spawn house. At spawn, you can see immediately that I've made some changes while off camera. I have rebuilt the house, made it slightly larger, and built the walls and ceiling and floor out of smooth sandstone. And the front of the house is made out of white concrete. In an effort to make this building look more like an embassy, I've added the banners. You can see to your left is the kingdom banner, which looks like the G. And to the right is a banner that I got from killing a raid captain. Today, what I want to talk about is my overall goal for my kingdom. All my villagers at my capital are dead. They were killed by raids or by pillager patrols. My overall goal is to rebuild the village and take advantage of the new villager and block updates in Minecraft 1.14. There are still all the kinds of villagers as we had before, plus Mojang has added several more. Now there's a total of 16 different kinds of villagers, all with different professions, and 16 corresponding blocks that go with each profession. A villager needs to have a bed and a workstation block nearby, and one is enough to form a village. I plan to rebuild the village that I currently occupy as my capital village. To do that, we need to take advantage of all the new blocks and build a village that can be defended and will not have all the villagers killed every time a patrol shows up or the pillagers attack. Of course, there's the raid that can happen as well, and we want to be able to defend against a raid as well as wandering pillagers. But that's not what I want to show you right now. Since my last episode, I now have a connection through the nether. We can now go to my village through the nether and don't have to go overland through the overworld. And so this way to get to my village is much faster. And with a proper nether tunnel being built, it's also safer. I think that being able to get back and forth from my village or kingdom to spawn will be a game changer. What I really want you to see is what I plan to do to the village. Not a big reveal. The village is exactly the way I left it. Except now, of course, the nether portal actually works and allows me to get back and forth to spawn. Inside here hasn't changed, but it is going to. I need to make this bigger and I need to explain what's happening next. To do that, we've got to go back to looking at the list of villagers and their types. This also shows the block that they use as their workstation. For example, if we want to look at the weaponsmith, we can see here that the workstation is the grindstone. So the weaponsmith needs a grindstone and a bed and they will be able to take that profession and go to sleep at night and everything will work out. That is what we have to do for all of our villagers or all of our would-be villagers. So that's what we need to make sure we have available for the villagers to work out the way we want to work them out. And what we need to look at next is the structure of the village itself. I need to make it more easy to defend and keep the villagers safe. 
I think one thing we'll have to do is do some terraforming where we level out this village so that it is flatter. And we also need to do some things around the bell at the center of the village that the villagers congregate around. I think I want more than one location for the villagers to gather around, which is what the bell becomes. Additional buildings that house beds and work areas for all of the villagers, maybe all facing inward. And we need to look at walls around the village to protect it from mobs and make sure it's all lit up. In Minecraft 1.14, villages work differently and villagers congregate around these bells at the end of their day before the sun goes down. And I want to move one of these bells over to another part of the village so that they have more than one place to congregate. And we will do that and then we will go over and build it up in a new location. There's the bell's new location, but as you can see here, this is a perfect example of why this village needs to be made flatter through terraforming. I need to go work on that. Okay, I am back, and four days have gone by. I have been rather busy, and I've done the terraforming on my base, which I would like to show you, but right now I have been grinding because I want to get a set of diamond armor so that I can survive longer without being killed. We are done grinding for a while, and now I'm going to go back to the house and sleep so that it's not nighttime. Then I can work on repairing my armor and completing the set. I'll be back in just a minute. And here we have a full set of diamond armor, which I will take back off until I can get mending on all of it. First opportunity, I will start with mending on the sword and axe and then the armor. Okay, now I wanna take you to my kingdom to show you how it has progressed. Here we go through the portal. Big reveal, and there we have it. You can see the roads, the level is flat. I brought everything up, and those are pillagers. Let's see if I can kill them. And uh oh, that's not good. You have to look at all the changes at high speed. Let's get in here and if you saw my last video, the tips and tricks video, then you will know these doors are put in backwards. So the mobs think they're open when I have them closed. And if I open them for myself, they won't walk through because they see them as closed. But they can shoot through them. Okay, I'm back and I killed the pillagers and now I want to go out and get those llamas that were out there. Those are from the traveling villager. Looks like all of the pillagers weren't killed, so let me take care of these guys. I try to move around so that they shoot each other. That sometimes helps. Wow, my health is getting low. The bamboo doesn't make a perfect barrier, but I have it around to kind of weave and dodge behind. You also see it 
I've used it to create a wall around the whole village. That actually slows down the mobs quite a bit. Wow, my armor has taken a beating and my helmet is gone. The golden apple should definitely help. Now I want to use this lasso to grab these llamas and take them over and tie them to the fence posts that are holding up the bell. I am so glad llamas follow each other. Now I want to show you around a bit. In addition to these roads, which are sandstone, lined on either side with netherstone, I also have added these buildings. You can see here that this is going to be a workspace. This is the same farm that was here before. I've added the composter, which is the workstation for the farmer. That's all I have time for today. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.